Um, so hello everybody. Uh, welcome to this uh, event at uh, IHES, <laughs> celebrating the International Day of Women Mathematicians. Um, I'm very happy to be here and uh, welcome also to the people online because I know there are quite a few of you. Um, so it will be my pleasure to lead you to through tonight's event. Uh, so I guess I have to present myself first. Uh, <laughs> so my name is uh, Bertie Follin, I am French. Uh, I'm a PhD student at the École Normale Supérieure um, uh, and at INRIA Paris under the supervision of uh, Francis Bach for, and Umut Simsegli. And I work on um, theoretical aspects of statistical learning. And this is my first year, so it's all fresh. Um, and uh, I'm very happy to be here tonight because, for, well, for reasons I will talk about now, I guess. Um, so when I first started, I mean, liking math, I was in high school and I was in a small town in the countryside of France and you know, it was still average, like there were still a lot of female in my class and a lot of female teachers, but then as the years went on, it all went downhill, I will say. Um, so first two years of undergrad, I mean then undergrad and then masters and now PhD and it's, the statistics are not getting better. And it was only last year actually in my second years of master that I had my first class, like math class taught by a female professor and that had like a good impact on me. I was like, oh, there are people that I know that are in the same fields as me and that are women. And I think those little pushes, uh, those little like people you see, they, they do make a big impact of you because there are so few of them sometimes and that can be disheartening. So I, I'm happy that we're here today to celebrate uh, women in mathematics because I think that's through like these little events and these um, little pushes that you can uh, motivate people to keep on and women to keep on, most specifically. Um, and for example, last year I was, uh, um, I was awarded uh, a prize, by, uh, a prize for uh, undergrad, no, for graduate students' uh, research projects. But you had you had to be a woman, and this prize was also called uh, Maria Mirzakani, uh, and it was awarded by the Fondation Mathematique Jacques Adama, who also like co-organizes this event. Uh, and it like you know I was working on this project, and I wanted to get it published, and I was a bit stressed, and you know still a graduate student, so uh, is it going to be good enough? And then to like get the prize and get this little push to keep going, and then got accepted last month, so I'm happy. Um, and so I think those the things are really important. Uh, and but the question, the first question, I guess, for today is why do we celebrate today <laughs> and not any other day? Um, so if we're celebrating women mathematicians tonight, it's because um, uh, it's the follow-up of an initiative that was launched in 2018 after the during the World Meeting of Women in Mathematics, which was uh, just before the last International Congress of Mathematicians in the Rio. And during that time, like May 12th was decided to be the day, uh, the International Day of Women Mathematicians, because it is Miriam Marzakani's Marzak Marzak birthday. Um, and I guess no one needs introduction, but <laughs> I will still give it. So uh, <laughs> Maria Mirzakani was an in our Iranian mathematician, and she uh, got the Fields Medal in 2014 for her outstanding work in dyna dynamics and geometry. And she's the only woman who ever got it, and she's, I think, a big inspiration to uh, every woman mathematician out there. And uh, sadly, she passed away in 2017, uh, quite young and uh, celebrating May 12th at her birthday and as the International Day of Women in Mathematics is a way to honor her and all the other women in mathematics, but also like hopefully all of the one who will come next and who will join us in this great math adventure. Um, so tonight we're going to listen to two women uh, who have expressed themselves on the topic of this huge gender imbalance uh, that there is in mathematics, science and research more in general. Uh, so first, mathematician Indira Chatterjee, uh, and then photographer Marie-Hélène Leny. So uh, if you can come here, and then I can introduce you. Uh, <laughs> so after obtaining her PhD at ETH Zurich uh, in Switzerland, you moved to the US to do a postdoc at Cornell, and then uh, you became an assistant and associate professor at Ohio State. Uh, and then you came back to France, I mean, not back, but you came to France uh, for in, at Université d'Orléans as a professor in 2007. You then spent a year as a visiting professor in New Delhi, uh, in, and then in 2013, and then you moved to Nice, uh, where you still work as a professor at the uh, Université de Côte d'Azur, and your research interests are geometric th group theory. Uh, and you have shared your reflections on the gender uh, gap in the, the mathematics that you have experienced yourself. and your uh, fellow mathematicians uh, in uh, a few articles that you can find online uh, that are published in La Gazette des Mathématiciens in uh, the newsletter Matapli. 
So tonight you will talk to us about institu institutional bias uh, explained by the mathematician. So the floor is yours. Michael. Should I go now? <laughs> 